All right, we're back. Apparently, I have sparkled nipples or something. Jesus. Uh, yeah, it's like this. I need to find her right away. Oh, for the we just <laughs> went through this, man. There you go, Bolt. She must be close by. Done. I say to no one in particular, apparently. Um, yeah, no one in particular. Oh, <laughs> okay, so that was, I guess that was the end. Yeah. Yes, I would like to save the progress. Any idiot will say no. So, alternatively, me or Jake. I mean... I mean, if you have the time to sit down in it, to do it in one sitting... Then I don't even know how long this game actually is. Well, this is going to be fun times. For all I know, this is going to be a 95 episode series. Well, that'll be nice. Yeah, speaking of that. But. Okay, then that definitely isn't. Wait, I'm okay. Maybe I'm okay. Uh. Uh, wait, so am I gonna be Johnny or am I gonna be I the think robot? you're gonna be Johnny. There has to be a way to switch. Wait. Well, let's take care of this robot first. And I can't. Oh, there we go. I can't even. Yeah, apparently he can, like, hold you and stay. Okay. Um, press right on the D pad. Down. I want to switch! So you can be Johnny. Oh, whatever. You'll get to be him later anyway. Because okay. I think after this, there's a part where like I get to be uh, the thing, and then second player is the human torch. Okay. Okay, so since I'm playing as Johnny, aka Chris Evans, I think it's time... Oh, time to tell him that I actually met Chris Evans in real life? Yeah, in person. Face to face. Butt to butt, almost. Yeah. We did make a lot of butt jokes, because, you know, we both found out that we both love uh, Bob's Burgers and Tina's our favorite character. Which, maybe not everybody knows that Chris Evans is a fan of Bob's Burgers. He's a fan of Bob's Burgers. He's also a fan of Rick and Morty. Um, I think we're done in this room. Okay, but continue with your story. But anyways, um, it was up when I was up in uh, Reno for uh, for school. Uh, Where am I supposed to go? Uh, follow me. Oh. <laughs> uh, up in Reno for school and everything. And um, my roommate uh, was getting ready to come back from class and I wasn't feeling good that day. So I decided to, to call, like, to email my teachers and say I won't be able to make it and everything. Uh -huh. And my, uh, um... Wait, oops. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, just follow the flaming guy. And, um... And... So she ended up calling me because she overheard about how there is this, uh, um... She overheard about how there is this like escape the room challenge uh -huh. that she was overhearing from somebody that they that it was like unbeatable or whatever and uh, uh and she was just like you want to give it a try and i was just like okay yeah sure and uh, um and so we gave it a try and it was like pretty much like a marvel marvel theme like literally part of our like uh, student Union, like, the f whole entire floor was converted into, like, a Marvel-themed, uh, 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 comic book store. Huh. And so, uh, what was it? Well, first we had to sign off paperwork that said if anything happened to us there, we, they weren't liable. S.H.I.E.L.D. isn't coming to save your ass. Um. Nick Fury won't pop out and say motherfucker. Oh, that would've been great, though. Yeah. And, what was it? And he told, told me, 
uh, so I kind of like looked at her and was like, are you sure we still want to do this or whatever? <laughs> this sounds kind of dangerous. <laughs> Apparently I'm just trying to burn the wall, pay no attention to me. Oh, but what was it? Um, and so we still decided to do it. And, um... And... And so the first challenge... So first thing was, was that when we... Um... Okay, I think this is a thing for me, but keep going on with your story. And, uh, uh, what was it? Uh, and so, goal of the story, like, the goal of the thing is, is that it's, um, we just got, like, Hydra just committed murder of a security guard, and we happened to have been there at the same time, so we saw it happen. So we literally saw a security guy walk by, and he's like, hey, you're not supposed to do that! And then me alarm was just, the fuck? And, uh, um... And, what was it? Um... So was so, this like a murder mystery thing? More on the lines of, the uh, a guy, get, co Hydra commits murder or whatever, and you have to run away before the cops get there. Oh, okay. And you have to, like, pretty much, like, follow these, like, different clues and tips and tricks from... They said that we were going to get an assistant to help us to help us uh, uh, with each stage to figure out what we're supposed to do and stuff. Uh-huh. And all of a sudden, we just hear, you're going to have to find the code to... Like, he's like this. He turned around, he's like, wow, you guys are in deep shit. He says, you guys are going to have to figure out a code to the back door. And we go running to the back door, and I was just like... And, well, my roommate did, and she's just like, it's locked. And I'm like, yeah, well, I think we need to find a code. And, uh, uh, so we start canvassing the room for the code. This was before we started recognizing that there was someone in the room talking, but there was no one else in the room talking. Yeah. And, uh, uh, we kept, we keep hearing him say, time, time crunch, time crunch, come on guys, hurry up, you can be faster than that. And then all, after a while, I was just like, what? Security box. What? I and, like, and I turn around, I'm like, there's, I, I was just like, um, there's no one in this room with us. Who's talking? And he's, and he's like, over here. Hi. And it's, there was like a Captain America, uh, like, stand with like comic books, memorabilia, and then like a little stuffed animal yeah. of, uh, a little stuffed doll. Of Captain America with his shield. Uh huh. Oh, I mean. Yeah, I was like, I can't really progress here. I know you're like me. You need a hand gesture to talk. I'm like, what the hell? I'd like to point out. I know it's um, not. I'm glitching. Uh, the this model of Sue Storm is like, like really well endowed in the front and back. Uh, probably more than actual Jessica Alba, but, you know, I'm not complaining, I'm just pointing that out. Um, but please continue. Um, and so, he kind of was just like, over here. Uh, hi guys, like, over here. And, uh, um, and then all the while, Lauren's just like, focus, the cops are coming! And then, scrap it! Yeah, they got, whoa, apparently I can Kamehameha everybody. Kamehameha? Yeah. Or whatever. Same uh, thing. <laughs> I think it's over here. Me thinks. Aha! Okay, so the cops were coming. So, uh, and then he just said that, uh, uh, we need time and money, find the code, hurry up, be fast, be fast about this. Yeah, be fast and, be furious. gotcha. Um, and... Um, uh, oh. Hey, no fair. That app cheese. Oh, that's dumb. Oh, that's okay. That's how you do it. Okay. But, anyways, uh, and so after a bit, I turn around and I kind of like look at the door and I looked above it. And then, like, a big banner 
in big words, it. said right. door code 33578. <laughs> and I apparently, nobody What's happening to me? was able to get past that? the first challenge. So nobody bothered to look up? Yeah, so I looked up. I was just like, Lauren, are you at the door? She's like, yes. I'm like, type in 33578. She's like, how did you? Because she was like looking through every individual comic book just to see if, and then runs over and like types in like certain numbers that she finds just to see if it was the code. I was like, try 33578. And she's like, where did you? Just trust me, just do it. And she did it. And she's like, oh my God. Oh, I even, I'm finally somebody now. Oh, we can't control the robots anymore. Yes, yeah, so I guess you get to be, uh... E Ewan? Is that what you found Ewan. Ewan. Ewan Griffith. Yeah. Griffith the Ewan... the Ewok adventure. <laughs> okay, so she put in the and code. so we put in the code and open the door and we're getting ready to leave. And then he, all of a sudden he hears like, Hey! Wait for me! You have to get bring me along or otherwise you guys are gonna die! And then he said, and then that's when me and Lauren just started arguing with each other about like how we're going crazy. And then the guys, the girl, uh, what was it? The, the he's like, I'm over here. And he was just like warmer as we we're walking close. He's like warmer. And then we stood right in front. He's like, Hiya, how are ya? He's like, he's like Captain America here at your service. And I'm like, we're supposed to bring you. Can you uh, try pressing left? I'm trying to see if we can swap so that you don't have to be read if you don't want to. I can do it. Alright, well you, then you gotta do this puzzle then. I can try it. Right, I right. can try it! You had it. <laughs> up. Oh, up. <laughs> oh, I'm supposed to... <laughs> okay. Oh, you're supposed to do it. Okay, hold R1 and up while I'm near. Okay, go, 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 go. Run! <laughs> oh, for the love of God. Oh, for That's why I wanted to switch! But it won't no. let... <laughs> That's not right. How this is why I let Jake do these things. I don't like them either. There we go. <laughs> what? This just like grinds the whole game to a halt. There we go. <laughs> no. no! Yeah, I tried. I'll do it. I'll I tried. Do it. Okay, so the two of you were arguing. And then, so then he finally was just like, um, he just like finally like called her attention and just says, over here at the stand. And then once we finally like stood in front of him, he's like, hi, uh, Captain America here at your service. How are you? And we were just like, so we're supposed to bring, and I'm like, we're supposed to bring you along. And he's like, he turns like, or otherwise you're going to die. And so I, you know, picked him up. Uh -huh. And so we were walking out, and then the next thing, and so the next room was, uh, uh like the back, uh, the, the back or whatever. Uh huh. Ben and John. Maybe they're at their ice cream shop. Oh no, that's Ben and Jerry. Uh, well, I mean, not wrong. Uh, but anyways, and so it was like in the, like the back area with like the storage things, and we were supposed to figure out a way to look on the other side to make sure that there's like the police didn't have this place to run in and they're coming in from the back as well mm -hmm. and so what i just ended up doing was uh, uh i just ended up and it was like a big tall like caught like like cabinets or whatever so i ended up like tossing the doll up in the air and he's like what are you doing and i'm like you're my eyes what do you see on the other side <laughs> okay <laughs> i did that a couple of times and uh um 
And then he finally said that the coast is clear, so then we kind of went around, and then, uh, um... Damn, you really got And so there was really wasn't that much there. We just had to, like, Where look over that? to see if the coast That's was clear. Uh-huh. And so the next puzzle that we had to do was, it was kind of like a Rubik's Cube type thing. Okay, hold on. I'm going to cut the footage here. I'm going to let you keep going with your story. Uh, we'll, you'll just see the... The subscribe screen or whatever, but I'm cutting the footage, but continue on with your story. That's fine. Or you want to continue on the next one? Continue on the next one. Okay, so we'll see you next time.